This is cousin Mitchell Strauss, and I want to take a few moments to tell you about what you're about to watch on this DVD. During the summer of 1989, over 20 years ago, I undertook the project of trying to complete the family tree. The tree has grown into a forest of information, details, and knowledge. With the introduction of the internet, the study of genealogy has become a very sophisticated project. The name number of websites that can be used in researching has grown tremendously. I have learned and uncovered a ton of information about the Klein family I was never aware of when I first started over 20 years ago. When I first started, my knowledge about the family was based on my remembering and talking with family members about the Klein clan. Needless to say, it was helpful. However, I soon became aware I knew very little. A classic example of that is the Gruber family. I knew they were part of the family, but did not know why. I remembered my parents visiting Uncle Elias in Passaic, New Jersey. However, why he was my mother's uncle never concerned me until I undertook this project. I was fortunate to meet his granddaughter, Evelyn Gruber Clayton at a family function back in 1991. You can read her letter to me dated June 12, 1991, and the newspaper article that she sent to me about Passaic and its environs. This gave me information I never knew about. It was overwhelming. I learned about Gittel Klein. I never heard that name or met her. Did not know my grandfather had a sister. Even more, I learned about my great-grandparents, Esther and Jacob Klein. If you read this article, you better understand what I'm expressing and how information comes in numerous ways, just by luck. Another great source of information is cemeteries. I have visited cemeteries from Newport, Rhode Island, all over metropolitan New York area. The Jewish Genealogy Society of Palm Beach realized that I was somewhat of an expert, and they asked me to make a presentation about what I knew about cemeteries back in May 2009. The name Max Klein is like looking for John Doe. I knew the cemetery where my grandparents were buried. When I walked into the office and asked for the location and grave of Max Klein, the person at the desk laughed and said, we have 42 Max Kleins. I only found the grave after I thought somewhat and asked for the records of perpetual care of my aunt, Ida, and Uncle Joe, who were also buried in that same cemetery. My mother had told me that my cousin, Jean Barracini, had paid for the care of her parents and my grandparents' graves. I also discovered that another cousin who I never knew about when I visited the graves of Ida and Joe Lindemann. Rosa Lindemann, who died in 1918. Now, just sit back and enjoy this DVD.
Just like 